guys, so today I'm going to teach you a look that was kind of um, inspired by my earrings. Uh, they're peacock and my shirt is blue so I kind of wanted to take the greens and the golds from the earrings and put it into my eyes. Um, it is a little difficult to see um, this look on camera so I had posted some photographs of it so that you could really get the full effect and um, the effects of the color and I hope you like this look and I hope that this tutorial is helpful to you. Okay guys so let's get started. My eyes are already primed and the, my foundation and my contour is already done. So I'm using Nika K and the colors are green and gold. And these are the colors. I'm going to be using um, a lid brush. Well, it's not really a brush. It's actually one of the little spongy things. And I'm going to put it in the green. And you want to take the green and put it. I have to look in the mirror, so I'm just going to kind of show you where to put it first. You're going to start at the inside and work your way to the end. You want to make sure you get it all over the lid. The color comes out pretty bright. Um, I'm having, I don't know how bright it looks to you guys because um, it's so bright in here. And I'm gonna do it to the other eye, which I'm doing now. These colors aren't really like, it's not like a, a bright, obnoxious green. It's like a really pretty, kind of subtle green. So that's why I like it. Okay, so now that the lids are done, I'm going to take the gold and actually I'm going to use the other side of this for the gold. And you want to do the outer corner and the crease. So. So can you see that? I haven't really blended it yet, but it's the outer corner and the crease. So now I'm going to take my blend brush, which is the MAC 224, and I'm going to just kind of blend the colors upward a little. See? Sorry, I'm trying to like cut the brightness for you. Okay, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to take the green and I'm going to line the outer part to about the middle in green. Can you see that? Okay. 
Okay, so now that I've done that on both sides, I'm going to clean this brush a little bit. And then I'm going to take the gold color and I'm going to do the inner part of the lid, of the lower lid. So, um, like, oh, I can't see, in here. I said lid, didn't I? I'm in the bottom part of my lower lid. Okay, so it's really difficult to see because of how bright it is, but can you kind of see the green and gold? This isn't like a super bright colorful look. It's kind of natural. It's actually inspired by my earrings which have blue and green and gold, hence the blue shirt. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to take my lid brush. I mean, I'm all kinds of messed up today. My highlighting brush. And this is my MAC, MAC palette. And I'm using this really peachy color right here. I know it doesn't look peach on screen, but that's what I'm using. And I'm going to do the top part. You see the difference? I'm going to take this kind of golden color at the top and I'm not going to do too much with it. I'm going to go towards like the inner crease of my eye and just kind of blend it into the gold that's in the middle. In fact, I think I'm actually going to mix it. I'm going to mix this bright goldish color with this light yellowish color. really trying to make it so you guys can see it. Can you kind of see that? It looks really pretty because the golds kind of blend together and one is dark and one is really light. which I, I'm going to blend it in a little bit better. Can you see this? And it's pretty, it's kind of like natural. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... eyeliner um, brush and I'm going to line the top of my lid. see? So I'm going to repeat this on the other eye. And it might take me a few minutes because, well, a few seconds because scar tissue.
Okay, so can you see that now? On both, on both eyes? I tried to do them a little uneven to look even. I hate having scar tissue. So I've winged them a little bit. Um, they are a little uneven. My eyes are a little uneven. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, and that's pretty much it for the eyes. So to polish the look, since my foundation and everything else is already done, I'm just going to add some blush. And I'm using a very pink blush because green and pink are complementary colors and this is very pink actually. It's called Dolly Mix and it's MAC. And I'm just taking my blush brush and I'm putting the blush into the apple of my cheek. I really did just forget to apply mascara, by the way, because, I don't know, I don't know when my brain is, to, it's not here. My brain is not over here when I'm doing my makeup or explaining it to you guys. But I'm going to take my eyelash curler, I'm going to curl the lashes, and then I'm going to apply the mascara. I always apply mascara to my upper and lower lids. Okay. That makes a huge difference, by the way. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I can see it in person. Okay, so that part's done. And then I'm going to do my eyebrows and my lipstick and I'm going to come back and show you the complete look. So this is the completed look. Um, I used a very bright pink to kind of complement the green since they're on either ends of the color spectrum. And this is the color. It's actually, it was really cheap. It was from NYC and the color is Blue Rose. And um, to offset it a little bit, I used um, Peachy Scene, which is from Color Essentials. And the lip liner color that I used was from MAC, and it is called Whirl, and it's kind of like a natural lip tone. So I hope that you like this look, and um, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks.